guys welcome back to the m7 youtube channel thank you so much for coming back all right we're going to talk exhaust today this is the deal i've got an austin racing exhaust on my new bike and it is so bloody loud i don't want to wear earplugs when i ride but i love the rs3 yoshimura exhaust on my bike now but it's a shorty so i've got a long one i'm going to cut it down and make the rs3 short yoshimura exhaust so let me let you take a look at GSXR 1000, the one that's on it right now. So take a look at this. That's our goal. That's what we want to end up with. I love this pipe. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. Love the pipe. All right. So that's our end result. Okay. So let me let you take a look at what I've got on it right now, the Austin Racing Exhaust. I like it. Looks fantastic, but it's just too loud. I mean, uh, loud's great, but man, this is so loud, I hate it. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to attract that much attention. So let me let you take a look at it. Back here to the workshop. We've got a wonderful workshop in the back of the house. All right, here we go. And there it is. It's great. It's too loud. Can't take it. So uh, let's go ahead and build a RS3 shorty. All right. Hey, let me just let you see something real quick before uh, we head down to the workshop. This is uh, a new set of pants that I got. From, they're Joe Rocket, but they're mesh and they're summertime pants. And they've got this mesh material and the wind just flows through it and keeps your legs nice and cool. You know, they're pants and it's hot out. Man, it cools my legs down, but when it does get cool out, they're like wearing a pair of jeans. I don't know how it works, but they are fantastic. Absolutely love them. But yeah, I mean, it's an alternative than to uh, wear a suit, but they are armored too, so they do have some armor in the legs and in the hips and in the rear end, so uh, they are fantastic. All right, I took a full-size RS3 Yoshimura pipe, cut it in half with my angle grinder. Took the measurements off the GSX-R1000 pipe I have now. That's all the materials I used. And we're gonna tack weld back on the tip that I have to take off the silencer pipe off the other pipe. Clean it up nice and good. Looking, looking right. I'm gonna take the packing, we're gonna roll it up, measure it out, and we're gonna pack it in the pipe. Make sure to tuck it in real good. Then we're gonna take it, we're gonna hem it up, make sure everything fits in there good. We use some tape just to roll, once you roll it around there, just tape it up and slide it in the pipe like that. Packing's in there, looking good. Put some dimples on there so that the drill doesn't dance around when we drill these holes for the end cap. And we pop the end cap on. Get it in good and tight. Then the last thing we're gonna do is put the final band on. Make sure to start in the center when you rivet. Don't start on the ends. You get kind of slack and you wanna take up that slack as you work the way around. We're just gonna rivet gun, just pop rivets. 1 16th, uh, quarter inch, and there's the final product, looking sharp. We're gonna dress it up here. That's stainless steel, a little hard to work with, but we're gonna buff it out with some, uh, just buffing wheels from Harbor Freight. Comes out looking great. Ta-da! Movie magic. 
It's finished. Wouldn't it be great if everything was that fast? There it is, guys. I think it came out fantastic. Look at that thing, man. I mean, it shines like a mirror. Used a little uh, mag polish and aluminum polish on it also. This thing's awesome. So I just got to order in the uh, Yashimira little emblem that goes on the side there. And I'll just uh, I'll put it on the bike now and just rivet it on. But I'll let you see it on the bike here. And we're just going to pull this old one off. And we're just going to slip the new one on. Even shine it up a bit. What do you think, guys? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. That's it, y'all. Thank you so very much for watching. Check you out on the next video.